Substitution method in solving the general solution of a differential equation is used when the DE seems to be complicated enough to land in any of the types of differential equations. Learn how to work with this method in Engineering Math 5. Substitution suggested by the equation is a visually analytical method such as integrating factor by inspection. For this method, the goal is to simplify the equation into something which can be easily classified, and simplification is through substituting a variable upon one or more in the original function. Let's work on some examples to understand the concept better. Determine the general solution of the following differential equation using substitution method. The equation given as the quantity of 3s less 2t plus 1 times ds is equal to the negative quantity of 3s less 2t plus 3 times dt. Check that there are repeating variables in each term of the equation, so we can simplify the whole function by substitution. Let us assign variable x for the repeating terms 3s minus 2t. If we take the derivative of x, it would be 3ds minus 2dt. From here, we can choose to isolate any of the derivatives ds or dt as a function of dx. In this example, I choose to use dt which would be isolated to give the function dt is equal to 3ds minus dx all upon 2. Then replace x and dt in the original equation which simplifies it as x plus 1 times ds is equal to negative x plus 3 times dt which is taken as 3ds minus dx all upon 2. Eliminate the denominator by multiplying the whole thing by 2 so we get 2 times x plus 1 ds is equal to negative quantity of x plus 3 multiplied by the quantity 3ds minus dx. From here, the derivatives are in ds and dx, one term in the left and two terms in the right side of the function. So distribute the dis derivatives from the terms to give 2x plus 2 times ds is equal to negative 3x plus 9 times ds plus x plus 3 times dx. At this point, we can see that the terms in the function are regrouping, so distribute terms according to the derivatives and collect similar derivatives. To have the equation, x plus 3 times dx is equal to 3x plus 9 plus 2x plus 2 times ds. Group ds from the two terms and simplify them to have x plus 3 times dx is equal to the quantity of 5x plus 11 times ds. The resulting equation would show that we arrive at a separable differential equation. The next thing to do is to group similar variables in the equation. Thus, we get the quantity of x plus 3 multiplied by dx all upon 5x plus 11 is equal to ds. With the numerator and the denominator, we can simplify the term by actually dividing x plus 3 with 5x plus 11. So by doing long division, we start with x divided by 5x is 1 fifth, then 1 fifth times 5x is x, and 1 fifth times 11 is 11 all over 5. Subtract the terms to have positive 4 fifth and we end the division. Then we can say that the equation was simplified to 1 fifth plus the remainder of 4 fifth all over the denominator 5x plus 11, and everything is with dx, and this is equated to ds. Distribute dx to have dx all over 5 plus 4 fifth of dx all over 5x plus 11 is equal to ds. And with derivatives separated, we can integrate them and we get x all over 5 plus 4 fifth of ln of 5x plus 11 times the balancing factor of 1 fifth is equal to s plus c. This can be simplified as x all over 5 plus 4 all over 25 of ln of 5x plus 11 is equal to s plus c. Then again, eliminate the denominator by multiplying 25 to the equation. 
the resulting function is 5x plus 4 ln of 5x plus 11 is equal to 25s plus c. This is the simplest form possible, so we can now take x as the original value of 3s less 2t. If we distribute terms, we get 15s minus 10t plus 4 ln of 15s minus 10t plus 11 is equal to 25s plus c. We can collect all s and t to the other side to have 4 ln of 15s minus 10t plus 11 is equal to 10s plus 10t plus c. Each of the resulting terms divisible by 2, so let's simplify the whole equation by multiplying it by 1 half, and we arrive at 2 ln of 15s minus 10t plus 11 is equal to 5s plus 5t plus c. Then we can finally simplify the general solution as 2 ln of 15s minus 10t plus 11 is equal to 5 times the quantity s plus t plus c. Example 2. By using substitution method, we are asked to find the general solution of y y prime plus x is equal to the root of x squared plus y squared. With y prime present, transform the equation to its standard form. So y prime becomes dy all over dx, and then transpose the denominator dx to the other end of the equation. Let's simplify the equation by substituting z to x squared plus y squared, so the derivative of z is 2x dx plus 2y dy. And I choose to work with dy, so 2y dy will be equal to dz minus 2x dx, where dy is isolated as dz minus 2x dx all upon 2y. Now substitute the assigned values into the equation, making it y times dy, which is dz minus 2x dx all upon 2y. Then add x dx is equal to the root of z times dx. y from the first term can be cancelled out to have dz all over 2 minus x dx plus x dx is equal to the root of z dx then negative x dx will cancel out again with the positive x dx, leaving us with dz upon root of z is equal to 2 dx. So we have another separable dE, which can then be written as z raised to negative 1 half times dz is equal to 2 dx. Then we are ready to integrate. Through integration, we take z raised to negative 1 half plus 1 all over positive 1 half is equal to 2x plus c. The left term can then be simplified as 2 root of z, where 2 can be cancelled out from both terms. Then we place the values of z into the equation to have root of x squared plus y squared is equal to x plus c. Remove the radical sign by taking the square of both ends of the equation. So x squared plus y squared is equal to the quantity of x plus c squared. Let's expand the right term to x squared plus 2cx, which can then be taken as cx plus c squared, which is also c. Then cancel x squared from both ends of the function to have y squared is equal to c times x plus 1. Example 3 uses substitution method for the equation the quantity of x minus 2y plus 3 times dx plus the quantity 2x less 4y plus 6 times dy is equal to 0. By careful checking, it is noted that the second term can be simplified, whereby extracting 2 from it can make it similar with the first term's coefficient. So, we can substitute z into that same quantity from both terms, which is x minus 2y plus 3. Then dz will be dx minus 2dy. And choosing dx, we transpose 2dy to the other side to have dx is equal to dz plus 2dy. Plug these assigned values into the original equation, and we have z times the quantity dz plus 2dy plus 2z dy is equal to 0. Then distribute z into the two terms which will make the equation z dz plus 2z dy plus 2z dy is equal to 0. And this can be simplified as z dz plus 4z dy is equal to 0. Simplify further by dividing the equation by z. 
to have dz plus 4dy is equal to 0. As they are separable differential equations, we can integrate them readily, which would yield z plus 4y is equal to c. Now place back the values for z to have x minus 2y plus 3 plus 4y is equal to c. Collect y's to have the final general solution as x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to c.